we're on the St. Joe River again. So this is where we ended last year and this is where we're starting this year. I guess we fished it in January, so this is where we started this year and this is where we're starting this year after a short two month of uh, not fishing. So back on the water today. We've got the new fish finder installed at the console. A little side view right now. And, uh, I'll get into details on my setup and my installation that I did myself uh, maybe later today or another video. Uh, but nothing too complicated. And uh, yeah, we're just, just happy to be out trying out. This is the only open water I could find. All the lakes are still frozen. Watch out for a goose. Doesn't want to get out of the way. But so we're on the St. Joe River. Uh, just kind of a dust off. Try to get the fish finders checked out. We got them linked together. So try to see how that works out. And um, yeah, just cast some lures. See if we can catch something. So hopefully we'll catch some small mouth, but I wouldn't mind a walleye here at the end of the walleye season before it closes. So we got another 10 days or so before that happens. And uh, we led with a walleye. Or steelhead. Hey, steelhead wants to show up. Go for it. Right here by the uh, bank. Let's see what we see. So right now I'm just looking at the right side. Just just to that side. I'm not worried about the other side right now. I'm just trying to check out some of that structure. Make sure we don't get too close. I don't want to hit something. Try to slow down our speed, see if we can find it. One speed better than the other. We're going, what, almost six miles an hour? Slow it down to three and see how it comes out. Try uh, clear view. All right, well, you know when I start finding some fish. All right, we're just gonna start fishing here. Uh, kind of a flat. I'm gonna try to check see if any smallmouth maybe moved up around this flat to warm up. The water seems really dirty, uh, very stained, very muddy. So. All right, wish me luck. fish. Like I said water's dirty so let's try another spot.
struggling. Let's move down to the next cove. I'm fishing these kind of three pockets where it's kind of shallow, hoping that the fish would be up there in the shallow, sunning themselves, warming up. But we're not catching anything. Catch of the day. I don't know what it is. That little sucker. <sighs> Didn't have our net up. We weren't prepared to catch anything today. Like with the carp, you can see all these buffalo or whatever they are sitting over there to the right. We've been here three and a half hours and we haven't caught anything but one snagged, one sucker, buffalo, I don't know what it was, and uh, snagged a couple other ones. Uh, there was a whole school of them, I was pretty sure there, and uh, that was about it. So we might be done for the day, I think. Looking forward to next weekend though, the lake should be opened up and uh, we'll be able to get out on the lake instead of the river, the dirty river, which uh, I haven't really caught anything but all year. Beginning of November, I came and did have what, one bass on that got off. Right at the boat on the A rig, caught one pike. But other than that, all we've done is snag carp suckers. So. Ah, oh well.
by a strange twist of fate, my uh, car won't start. So we got a little bit more fishing time before I get some help to arrive. So we're gonna try where we're snagging the carp last time. You heading in? Okay. You going in? I'll start on the hill, you brother. That's right. I think my truck battery's dead. Do you have time to start to jump me? Okay. Sure. Sure. Okay, cool. Yeah. Did you catch anything? I caught five. Did you? Yeah, I didn't. I snagged one sucker and that was it. I didn't get anything else. 